Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mr. Green here in the nether in the depths of hell. It's dark guys. It's dangerous. It's uh it's not a very nice place. We've been trying our best to survive. We've definitely made some progress. I wouldn't say uh really a crazy amount of progress. Let's see what we got out here. We got ourselves a nice little pumpkin farm going on with some uh, wheat as well. <laughs> and I really think ultimately other than a little bit of mining and some exploring here and there, that's about all we have accomplished. Really we have only been surviving here for a couple of days. Um, you guys saw the last episode which was the very first episode. We, uh, yeah, we explored the, uh, the nether fortress, and I managed to get a bunch of these guys, which, they're very angry, if you jump up and let them see you. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, but this is my food supply for right now. Um, other than the chickens that we have, which we do have a lot of chickens. Actually, need to probably hatch some more of these. Just kind of chuck them up here. Hope to get a baby. Whoop. There we go. Sometimes they fall out. Hey, you. Get back in there. Get in there! <laughs> there you go. We have been getting some chickens, some feathers. We managed to get a bow with uh, some arrows. So that was nice. Um, I got a texture pack on. Maybe some of you guys noticed my tiny little sword that we got here. But I was getting kind of annoyed with the fire. So I put on a texture pack that is going to allow us to... Let me see if I can find some fire here. There's some fire. You see how the fire is a lot lower. Ooh, yeah, see now now when it's on you it doesn't get in your face as much anymore, so It's gonna help me out a lot. It's just it's really annoying. I don't know call it cheaty if you want to but I don't care. I'm okay with it Um, Today we're gonna get some mining done We are definitely gonna do some trading with the piglins Because they 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 have a lot of good stuff and we need to get some of it <laughs> These guys. Oh my goodness, they look crazy. The guys got like a full head. What 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 is that? It's so weird. Um, but yeah, we we got a lot of stuff to get done today. We're gonna try to figure out some sort of new uh, farm that we can do, and uh, we actually have enough diamonds to finally do something that I've been holding off until you guys were back to do so granted we don't really have fortune right now but we do have iron so now I have three diamonds and I can finally make my very first diamond pickaxe guys I've been uh, been going for a little while without any diamonds should be able to do that with what four planks get some sticks and there we go. <laughs> Got ourselves a nice little diamond pickaxe. So that's going to help out a lot. Granted, we don't have any enchantments on it right now. But we will soon. Very, very soon. We're going to head down for a little bit to the mine and see what we can get. Definitely need a lot more gold. You guys can see we've been clearing this out back here is uh, getting a lot bigger but now we can finally get these picked up which I'm happy about because I've been waiting to pick these up I'm, I'm sure some of you guys saw in the last episode I did a uh, I did a no-no with one of these and it, it poofed right in front of us so won't be doing that anymore honestly though I did not know that you actually needed diamonds for this I thought you really just needed iron thought an iron pickaxe was good enough to get this stuff. I mean, I guess it makes sense because you're upgrading your diamond gear to netherite. So you, you kind of should have the diamonds anyway. Hello, slime. I guess you're a magma cube, aren't you? 
Did you drop slime? I really do enjoy this texture pack. Uh, give me a second here. Kill this guy, and I'll show you guys. Nobody else around, right? All right. Let me show you guys the texture pack. Um, I got this on mcpedl.com. It was not made by me or anything, so... Don't think that, obviously, but here it is. Sunbun123 was apparently the creator. But if you guys want it, Ultimate Survival Texture. Um, yeah, just look at it, look for it on MCPEDL. They got it there for free, so... You guys, go check it out. It's an awesome texture pack. It really changes a lot of the things that I have issues with in the game. I tried to get it to work with another texture pack, but I think it's because I'm playing on my PS4. It didn't want to work. I grief. Those things take a minute to break. But there's this other texture pack that I have that actually lets you see the damage value. Or not the damage value, I guess the damage indicator. Health indicator? You can see how many hearts a mob has left when you're killing it or attacking it. Or whether or not whether or not you're not, you know. It's really helpful for like being able to see your dog and cat's healths. Or as your wolf. Alright, I have cleared out this area really good, honestly. It could get a lot bigger, though. Definitely been keeping my armor nice and shiny with all this mining we've been doing. Oh, goodness. That's a big one. Keeps going. As you guys know, in this map, quartz means diamonds, so quartz are pretty awesome. Even if we don't plan on using the quartz for anything other than getting diamonds. But look at that, we can get uh, seven enchanted apples or totems of undying? I really don't know which one's better. I feel like the Totem of Undying is probably better. Because you get the fire resistance if you, you know, die or activate it, you know. So if you fall in lava, you're going to get fire resistance. But it also does that if you, you know, get killed by other mobs. So I don't know. I think they both have their benefits. I'm just going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to let some nether chickens free. Can we hit the gas with eggs? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that shit cracked me up. But yeah, these guys are doing amazing. We have our nice little cooker back here for whenever we need to cook the uh, chicken. It's actually a nice little simple, little simple thing. Um, we don't really need any more diamonds, I think, right this second. I would like to have a diamond axe at some point. Um, but really, my first goal that I want to do today is I want to go and try to get the barrel. And nobody probably knows what that is but me, because I put it in. <laughs> but I know where it's at. And I'm going to go try to get it. So, spoiler alert. If you guys do not want to know the secret of where the barrel is, turn the video off right now. Come back later after you've after you've played this for a little while. And once you figure out the where the barrel is, and then come back and watch. But I'm telling you guys, you, uh, you watch this right now, it's going to be a huge spoiler if you really want to try to find the, the secrets. So... But we are going to go find the barrel right this second. 
and I'm excited because it has some goodies in it. I really don't remember what is in it, honestly. Um, but I do remember that it's really good. Look at that nether music just getting so dramatic again. <laughs> it's just this one, this one track. All right. Oh, oh, hey, hey. <laughs> that couldn't be good. Let's put my ancient debris away. Probably don't really need this on us either. Just throw that back in here. Um, all right. Don't want to be foolish. We don't really need two iron pickaxes either. All right. That's good. Let's put some blocks down here in case we need them. Uh oh. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I was prepared. I really was. Chicken. All right. We got food. Should we take all of our food while well, we're doing it? I'm not going back anymore. Let's go find this barrel, guys. So I lost one of my uh, best tridents at after like right after the end of the last episode. Up, there's one of them up here, and then I have another one that's I think up over there somewhere. So, two of my really good tridents are stuck in the ceiling, and I don't know if I, I should go get them or just let them go and try to find other ones. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So, this has been lit up fairly well. We're getting less spawns, I guess, now, so... Let's go ahead and... Let's get mining. So, yeah, we got a nice little block of lapis... Black or redstone. Don't ever dig down, guys. Except for in this one occasion, okay? This is really scary, though. <laughs> so here's where your uh, secret barrel is at. But it's going to be kind of dangerous to get to. And, uh... Oh, no! Oh, no! Did I not bring my diamond pickaxe? Can you break crying obsidian? Is crying obsidian different? Oh, please tell me it's different. Oh, it's different. Oh, I got nervous for a second. All right, so I guess I don't get to keep that piece, but at least got it. So getting back out of here is going to be a fun thing. All right, so that's what I left you. You get, oh my goodness, is that two, two stacks of, oh my God, guys. Okay, that might be a little much. Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess it's your, it's your one like gift basket in the nether. I, don't, I haven't really given you any other like OP gift aside from this. So. <laughs> All right. So we got two things of the, the diamond horse armor. You're going to get two mending books, a really awesome diamond sword. Oh, if I fall in the lava and lose all this. I don't even think I can fit it all. Okay, we don't need both saddles, though. Let's keep that here. We'll come back. Alright, um... So here's the fun part. We gotta get out of here. Without the guests showing up and killing us. I think our best way is probably... Whoa. 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 <laughs> Alright, let's go right here. Um, oh, well, that's not good. Should I go? Guys, I feel like I'm going to fall in the lava. <laughs> Let's just go this way. Uh... Eee. All right. That was just a little nerve-wracking. I need to do some more exploring, too, because I know there's probably a bastion somewhere nearby, right? Like, there can't be one, like, that far away. It's got to be within a few hundred blocks or so. I think if we can find a bastion, we could definitely find some more gold supply. And, um... We already have nether wart, so we don't really need nether wart. How do I get... I think we're just going to have to pillar up. Let's just pillar up real quick. Alright, uh oh. That's a lot of things. Let's run back. 
let's just let's go. What we gotta do? Ah! Hey, 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 no, 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 oh, god, no, no, oh, here goes my totem, guys. This is why we got the totem. All right, how long is fire resistance on this? Are we screwed? <laughs> I mean, we're out at least, so we're safe. How, how long do we have? What's my? Oh, where's my? Where's my fire resistance? Where, where, where's it say? There it is. Okay. Oh goodness, twenty seconds. That's not good. Uh, I'm going straight up. And I don't have anything else on me. No more totems. Oh, there wasn't another totem in the box, is there? Guys. I'm so nervous right now. You have no idea. They pushed me into the lava. That was so rude. <laughs> uh, my house is like straight above us, right? It should be. Ooh, hey, gold. Oh, things that'll wake you up. Like, I thought I was fine. And that last one just, like, pushed me off. I need some knockback resistance. We got no netherite. Wait. Alright. Can we just... I'm worried that there's gonna be lava. Should I do that? Just go up right here. I, I'm. I just. I have a feeling that I'm gonna break through right above me, and lava is just gonna pour down in my face. All right. I'm making it too wide, so I have an escape, I guess. Oh goodness, guys! Cross your fingers. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Okay. We're up. We are up. We're getting out of here. We are starving to death also. Hey, you, big bully. Come here. No, you come here. I want to talk to you. Listen, it was not very nice of you to do that, okay? I don't even have room to hold that stuff. <laughs> Alright, so if you guys saw the chest, the, the barrel, and you saw its location, and you want some help on your journey in the nether, go get it. I promise you it's going to help you out a lot. So now we have three villagers we can spawn, which means we can now have a villager breeder. We can have infinite villagers, basically, because we have two of them. Um, we can get two horses. And, uh, skeleton horses? I don't know why I put those in there. I think skeleton horses are just fun, maybe. Mending is going to be awesome, because whenever, uh, we could put that on our sword. Or we could put that on the hoe, but I think we don't really need an amazing hoe. We have, yeah. Um, and we already have this armor, I think. Do you have that armor? Yeah, okay, so as long as this horse doesn't die, I mean, that's just a backup set, I guess. Again, guys, the, the nether is dangerous, so I didn't want you to be too unprepared. I know some people, like, they get to chests like that, and I, I've, I've had it in the past where you get to a chest like that, and you're just like, oh, that's too much. That's no fun. But honestly, guys, like, that's, that's about it, so... Everything else is up to you. See, that's going to be nice. We have redstone now. We actually might have... No, we had redstone before. That's right. We had redstone. I bought some. But I realized that I can't make a lot of my redstone things without cobblestone. 
So we have to get to the nether, or to the to the end, not the nether. Once we get to the end, we could start making some more of my uh, my redstone stuff, my uh, automatic pumpkin farm, and I know there's a few uh, redstone things I want to make. All right, let's uh, let's get the pumpkins. Oh. There were no diamonds in the box, were there? There were no diamonds. Um, I really want a diamond axe, but I don't have enough to get diamonds. Let's just make another iron axe, I guess. Oh, nope, we can't even do that. Stone axe it is. Nope. One, two, three. Two, um... <laughs> Alright, let's get our pumpkins harvested, and then I can drop down the villagers, and uh, hopefully we, can, we should be able to get a farmer villager, no problem, because we have a composter. I might have to pick up my other, my other things. Oh, we need to make a bed. Oh, we can't make a villager without a bed. Well, we can make a villager, but he's not going to want to trade us anything. Because he won't technically be, like, employed, right? We'll have to see. I think I remember hearing about that. Oh, it's been a little while since I messed with villagers, guys. But you can see we have a decent amount of pumpkins, almost two stacks ready to go. So, ooh, 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 we can put our hoe over here. We now have an amazing netherite hoe. Alright, let's, let's put him down. Where, I think we need to make a little chamber for him, because this guy is going to be able to move. A little bit of blackstone. Make a few slabs. Why do I have this open all the way? Close that up. Mm -mm -mm. Should be able to put him right here. If he's too tall, that should be good, right? Ah! Break it out! See, I hate it when you, like, try to use spawn eggs, too, and they don't want to go into the area that you want them to go into, so hopefully this works. Hey, you? If I just drop them up there. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. A <laughs> little bit of a fall. You'll be okay. But what we're going to do is grab our composter. Because we need a farmer. Put that right. Put it right above your head. Because you should be able to reach it. And now... Yeah, he's not changing, so we definitely are going to need a bed. I don't have any string. No string, no wool, no, no spider webs. We're going to have to go kill striders, aren't we? I don't like that. I hate killing striders. I love striders. They're so adorable. All right, let's get some warped fungus. Because I think it's the warped fungus, right, that we need to uh, breed. If I remember correctly, warped fungus breeds striders. So there should be some over here. Usually you can find warped fungus even in the crim crimson. 
Yeah, there's some. Oops. Hello, nether chickens. Oh, striders. I'm sorry, guys. <sighs> Why, man? I'm just trying to come out of my house. Oh, no. Don't hurt my striders. Don't hurt my striders. I'm telling you, buddy. We're going to have problems. I got a bow. I keep forgetting I got a bow now. Yeah. <laughs> little bit of free gunpowder some gassed guts all right striders I'm, I'm sorry guys come here buddy make some babies all right so we got baby striders how do I now, how do I kill them without their drops going in the lava? That's a question. Come on! <laughs> You're, go back to your fortress. Stay away from my house. Let's get another piece of warped fungus, hopefully, and then they'll follow me? Oh, goodness. Uh, I should have brought some bone meal. Why are they so angry? Uh oh. I need to start using my awesome sword. I keep forgetting I have this now. Hey, hold still. Uh oh. Oh, oh, that's a lag. Whew. Alright, so this sword's gonna help you guys out a lot. Guaranteed. Because it has looting on it. <laughs> And I think it's a pretty good looting. Where is all the warped fungus? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to get some bone meal, aren't I? Yeah. Come down here. I can't reach you. It's not fair. You just sit up there and float in. Hey, new totem. Nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to get some bone meal, guys. Oh my goodness. I, I have an inventory management problem, guys. I feel like all of Minecraft has an inventory management problem. <laughs> So yeah, we should be able to bone meal this and have a chance for the green ones, right? Not gonna happen that often. Uh, I really need a warped forest. Ah, there's one. All right, so we got one. Chickens, you're gonna cook yourselves. Is it really that bad, guys? Whoa, we missed. We missed! Hold still! <laughs> Stop moving! <laughs> now I'm just mad at myself. Look at this. Look at this awfulness. He's just laughing at me. Hold still. No, come back. Come back. I had you. Come back. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, he dropped some more gunpowder. All right. We got to clear out this inventory, guys. I'm going to I'm going to go clean up my stuff and I'll I'll, I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, I have been thinking about it, and it seems like the best way of getting string is going to be from the Striders or trading. So I think we're going to give our luck at trading a chance real quick and um, see what we can get. We do have a decent amount of gold. I mean, not, not too much. We have 48 ingots, so we'll get 48 trades. Let's... Let's go find a piglin and just see what we can get from him. Because honestly, if I don't have to kill the striders, I don't want to. So, yeah, let's let's give it a chance. Because, like I said, I've been really needing to trade with the pigs anyway. So, let's find a few of these guys and see what they'll give us. So, I'm a little upset right now, guys. My controller has been messing up on me for a little while now, and I think I just paid a pretty big price for it. I just crafted half a stack or so of gold into a bunch of pressure plates that I don't want. Yeah. Anyway, I was in the middle of trading with the piglins, and then that happened. So that's going to cut that kind of short. But we did, I believe, get the string that we need to make a bed, hopefully. Oh, goodness, guys. I don't know if you know how upset I am about that. I was doing good. We were, we were trading with the piglins, and then I came back because I had no inventory space. And now we're just... Oh. Oh, I'm disappointed. Oh, we got one more ingot, and we can go pick up what we left on the ground back over here. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Hey, give me something good. That's all I got left, buddy. Hey, did you... Okay. I was going to say, did you just run off with my gold? Uh, another guest here. Guys, I'm just a little disappointed right now, but it's all right. We're, we're, we're not going to let it ruin everything. We got this. Oh, uh, we don't really need the obsidian unless we're going to use it just for building, I guess. We don't need it for portals. Um... Soul sand is great and all. I think we only need that for the horse pickup thing. Getting a lot more of that. Another totem. That's good. Um, oops, I need to put one of those in my hand, actually. That'll be good. Alright, so we got enough string. We got enough wood. Let's... Um, So we can do that, and we can do that, and then we could try to sleep in the bed and destroy everything, right? <laughs> there we go. All right. Don't change. I'll be right back. Probably should have had the wheat with me. All right. There we go. 45. Uh, I doubt that's going to be enough to unlock him, but <clears throat> we'll keep farming. I can make a bigger wheat farm if I need to. But ultimately, getting the villager was the goal, so. Yeah, let's just... I'm just gonna level him up. I got the emeralds. Plus, it wouldn't be bad to have some extra bread for breeding. There we go. Why is that... 
Oh, it's locked because I don't have any of it. Is that what's what's up? Alright. I'm going to need a new chest for you, aren't I? There we go. Hey, let me just spin in circles five more times. Oh, I can't place a chest there. Place a chest there. Put that up there. Let's get the pumpkins. And guys, we've been we've been saving up the pumpkins for a little bit to where now we got a few of them. Listen, buddy. Hey. You came to my farm. I don't know what you expected. I do love this about the texture pack, the fact that the uh, orange, the stems are orange. I really think that they should do something similar to this in vanilla Minecraft, because I hate the fact that you can't tell the difference between melons and pumpkins normally. Just a little bit of a personal thing. Not really that big of an issue, I guess, but <clears throat> if I had the choice to change it, I would choose to change it. All right, buddy. No! Oh, buy more stuff from me! <laughs> uh, what else are you going to sell down here? Suspicious stew. Ooh. Cakes. Cookies. Oh, we could start a melon farm if we ever get the melon seeds. All right. So I think I'm going to go on a little bit of a mining trip here, guys, and um, we will catch back up with you here shortly. So nobody really enjoys watching the mining, I know that, so I will do a cut for that, maybe add a few little clips of it, but yeah, we will We'll do a little bit of mining. I want to get some more gold to be able to trade a little more because I, I feel like I was robbed, so <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys. Well, that was that was a long uh, mining trip. I'm not gonna lie. We were out for a good half hour, I'd say, probably looking for stuff. I ended up getting lost for a little bit of it, <laughs> so that's probably why it ended up taking too long. But we did manage to get a good amount of stuff. Got a nice bit of netherrack, some quartz. I wish I would have taken a crafting table to be able to craft some of this gold into uh, ingots we'll do that in the future but ultimately not too bad let's see here we got 22 ingots so we're gonna have another little trading episode here in just a second we'll go over and see the piglins and see if we can actually get some see that's the thing with my controller you guys see it just jerking over to the side but we'll see if we can get some stuff from the piglins so here we go look at all of them hey guys here take it Oh, we got a nice little bit of handy stuff. We got another fire potion. Some iron. Free iron. 
Might be a little more valuable if I didn't have access to it already, thanks to Nether Ned, but we'll take it. Got some more string. Or, what, bows? What all can we use string for? Well, we can make bows, we can make leads, we can make beds. What, what all is string used for? I just... Hmm. Crossbows. The leads, the fishing rods. There you go, okay. So once we get to the end dimension here soon, that's probably going to be next episode, guys, honestly. We will get that taken care of. But honestly, I'm pretty happy with what we got done today. We got all of our villagers set up. Well, two of our villagers set up. Well, we got a baby. He'll be there soon. Um, we got some pumpkins traded. We got some mining done. Ultimately, we just, we, we kind of had some fun this episode. It's, it's kind of a slow progression. Honestly, life in the nether is not an easy life. It takes a little bit of time. And it definitely takes a little bit of patience. But it's, it's possible. We're doing it. We are not only living, but I feel like we are thriving in the nether. We have diamond stuff. We have lots of food. I mean, we, we, we have a little, a little piglin or a hoglin farm back here. Look at this. We got all the bacon you could ever want. But ultimately, I feel like we got a lot accomplished today, and I'm pretty happy with the progress we got done. So, if you guys like this type of content, make sure you hit that like button down below. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, so you get notified when I post my next video. We do a Let's Play once a week, we do a Command Block tutorial once a week, and we should be doing a World Tour once a week. So y'all, make sure you come back, and uh, go check out my maps over on mcpedl.com i got lots of them and i made them all just for you guys so again hit that sub button turn on notifications hit that like button do i gotta say it again guys until next time y'all have a great day happy building